I would like to speak a little bit about the project I'm working in, which is called Eco Universidade, which the translation is Eco University here in Brazil, where I'm from. So I'll take you through my presentation, which is a bit about the project, our philosophy, and how do we see education, um, the future of education, at least for higher education and here in Brazil. Let me just put this on presentation mode. So our name, uh, short name is called Eco Uni, and we, we state that we would like to be the university of the future because we mm, see that there are two problems we would like to tackle whilst we are alive. Um, and, the, and the creation of the, the project goes around these two problems. And the first problem is around colonized modern education. So the, the, uh, the, system, the system education we live in now, um, which I, I would like to defer from education itself, because I think many processes of learning do exist already in different cultures, but the systemic education we live in from, from the systemic model we're in is based on competition and separation, which are concepts that we are separate from nature, we're separate from each other, and it's okay for us to compete. It's not only okay, but we are incited to compete because we always have to have someone that has a higher grade or is better than someone at a certain point or is more specialist than someone in some other point. So we create this false sense of reality that humans are above natural systems and that nature is a resource. So this is something that we want to change within the educational system here. Modern education also doesn't include the diversity of stories, cultures and worldviews that do still exist today. So, for example, in the educational system in Brazil, there is very little uh, spoken about the point of view of indigenous society of historically what happened in Brazil through the colonization process. So this is very important to be spoken uh, in many different worldviews for uh, in higher education or for, for children in schools as well. So we understand our story from different points of view and not taken as one reality, one point of view. And most of the education system here in Brazil as well is very, um, it, it came from uh, a place which was not really the Brazilian or indigenous cultures here, which have been um, kind of pushed aside um, more and more and, and being in a violent system uh, as we speak. So what we want to do here is understand that the education from the future is not going to maintain the present. What we see from higher education in Brazil is that we see at, um, universities maintaining the present and creating um, young people to fit within the industry and not um, inciting innovation, creation, different, uh, different understanding of cultures, collaboration. So we want the, the, the university of the future to be based on diversity and to reintegrate uh, humans and the natural system, understanding that this comes from changing worldviews and not only creating little remedies for this and part of the other part. We want to dig deep and create um, something that comes from the roots, which is genuinely uh, new, but based on what we learned from our ancestors. And the second problem we would like to tackle is the climate emergency we're living in due to our own actions and our own old view and how we inhabit this planet. So we are in a climate emergency, in an ecological emergency, which is systemic from the way we see humanity uh, inhabiting the earth and which we believe is resulted from anthropocentrism. So thinking that human is above natural systems. So the fact that we're not completely aware of the impact of our actions in the, in, the, in the world, we think we are, but we are not understanding systemically the proportions we are all of what we are doing and how we are calling this uh, development. Um, and we are decreasing daily the opportunities and conditions of life for future generations, not only for humans, but there are other species as well. So we also want to tackle this problem, bringing education as uh, the center as John said, learning within nature. So Eco University is a community-based educational platform for regenerative learning. So we learn within the community of mentors and uh, transformative agents, which are students, 
and we are all for different types of learning. So learnings from experience, for example. So we exist to guide people within this transition to give a more regenerative mindset and a way of understanding because we are a very rational society, but we do want to change that as well. We want to bring intuition, feeling and sensations within the ways of learning as well, and also a different lifestyle. So how can we inhabit this earth being regenerative and being part of the regenerative system? So today we offer an online community platform with a variety of courses for a regenerative transition. We work on different ways of learning. We have a diversity of sister, uh, teachers and mentors, which come from multiple worldviews, backgrounds, including knowledges that are commonly excluded, such as indigenous and Afro-descendants. We come from a systemic and a holistic approach to learning. Our goal is to connect people to nature again, because we some, some of us are, are connected, some of us are disconnected, and in our history, if you take the history of humanity, most of the time we were connected to nature, then we're not. So uh, we have this ancestral memory of being connected to the other beings, of communicating with trees and other types of animals. So we just have to access that again and start changing what we think is reality because we create our own reality. So we offer regenerative education which is profound and accessible. We connect people to the community and the land. We help people to understand their impact on nature and, and make changes within their lives and contribute to understanding the climate emergency and reintegrating the modern society to the ecosystems they, they are within. So basically our goal is to um, bring humanity um, as much as we can from people who are with us within the ecosystem, understanding that nature is not here to serve us, but we are here to be part of nature and to enhance nature and to regenerate and to see how much intelligence there is everywhere that we could co-create instead of using nature as this big cupboard that we just take things and use for all our products. Our methodology is based on deep ecology. So I don't know if you guys, all of us know deep ecology, but it, I, it's one of my favorite ways of relating to nature. So deep ecology um, for indigenous people, for example, is just a way of being. They wouldn't even call it deep ecology. But here, as we are transitioning, we call it uh, the three pillars of deep ecology, which is deep experience, where we take people within nature to experience and to learn from nature. There is as much as we can to learn from each other, but there are other things that the planet and Gaia will teach us that we cannot teach ourselves. We also um, instigate people to deep question Deep question, what are the dogmas of the system? What are the dogmas that we live in? How can we be different? Go within, dig deeper and think in other ways. We have to be questioning the one of the principles of life is change, is transformation. Everything is changing and fluctuating all the time. So we need be, to be questioning and not taking as one reality as the only way we can live, but also creating new realities and creating space for imagination and creativity. And the last pillar is deep commitment. So when you understand and you open your eyes for how you want to live the world and how you want to change the world for future generations, you need to be committed. It's not going to be easy. You're going to have to make a, a few hard choices, but it for sure it will be rewarding as to the, um, the conditions you are going to leave behind for the next generations. And we also take our principles of learning within heart, hand and hands. So we want to stimulate worldviews, we want to stimulate logic and how we understand life because we are beings that uh, draw from uh, meaning, we are sense-making people, we are deeply ritual and we come from uh, understanding and giving meaning to everything, so we want to do this and we also acknowledge our heart, our feelings and our intuition, how we live in this world, which is there is a lot of intelligence there but we also want to, people to be in the making with their hands and come back to actually being part of how things come into being. So here is a, a few pictures of our experiences. Uh, the themes we work around is rewilding, which have a course next uh, week on rewilding, biomimicry, regeneration, eco-entrepreneurship, new economies, climate emergency, localization, we are hosting the localization event for local futures in Brazil this month and um, on June this year. Um, science and spirituality, which we believe are very connected, regenerative agriculture, bioconstruction and sacred creativity and much more. 
all drawn from the community of mentors. So our future goals is now we have a online community which we offer our courses and we connect people from all over Brazil, some, sometimes even people from um, uh, Europe or uh, Colombia also participates from our courses. We do have a land community as well, so we are an online school, but we are connected to many schools we, which are, have their physical spaces where we do our presential courses. So we are connected to the um, ecosystem of eco, other eco-universities in Brazil. And soon in the future, we're looking for investments to create our own physical space for eco-university based on maybe um, a nurse ship, for example, as John presented, but also, but of course, based on bioconstruction and the connection to land on space. So here is our contact. If you ever want to talk to us and be part of this project, I would be very happy to be with you. And I know my presentation went a little bit more around on what we're doing here in Brazil, but I really wanted you to know a little bit more of our project and how things are evolving here and what type of education we envision for the future and we're already on our hands on. So I think this is my 10 minutes and thank you very much for the space.